back delivering another tutorial for Dalkeith Art Club. This time I'm going to be looking at a form of printmaking. Before lockdown I was the print club producer at Edinburgh Printmakers which involved um, developing and delivering workshops for children, families and young people. And one of my passions is um, developing forms of printmaking that uh, use materials that you can find in and around the house and this uh, form of printmaking that you're going to be doing today is no exception. The main principle of printmaking is transferring ink from one surface onto another and printmaking also allows you to repeat the image over and over again. The only exception to this is a, a technique called monoprinting. Anyway I'm not going to waffle much more so I'm going to show you a little film that will take you through the stages for doing this form of printmaking which is called dry point etching and uses things that you can find hopefully in your recycling bin. So the principle of dry point etching is to create grooves or marks in a hard surface. In this instance we're going to be using plastic milk bottles or something similar and the grooves that we make are then going to be filled with ink However, we're going to replace the ink with lipstick because you're more likely to have that at home, I think, for this process. And then once we've done that, prepared our plates for, uh, for printing, we're going to use damp paper. And the reason we use damp paper is it softens all the fibres and it allows the paper to be pushed into the grooves that we've created. And that receives the ink and creates your image. Now, whatever image that you've drawn... When it's um, imprinted onto the paper, it's actually going to be the reverse or mirror image. So if you've drawn something that looks like a left hand, when you print it, it's going to look like a right hand. So it's worth bearing that in mind when you're thinking about the images that you're going to draw. But we're now going to get on with the workshop. Um, I hope you enjoy it and we look forward to seeing what you make of it. Thank you. So the materials that we're going to be using today, as I said, have come from the, the recycling box. I've got a juice carton a milk carton and an old uh, CD for those of you who remember what they are. And the, the kind of interesting ingredient, I guess, in this uh, process today are some old lipsticks. And these are going to actually replace um, the ink that we would be using if we were in the studio. So I've been playing about with things that you can find in the house that you might not necessarily expect to use in the printmaking process, similar to last week. I've got some etching tools that I've cobbled up, so that's a, a sewing needle that's been stuck into a cork. I've got another little sort of needle thing here, implement. Some sharper tools for drawing with. This might also be a craft knife. Anything else that you can find round about the house that you can make a scratch into the paper, the plastic or the CD. And some other things that we're going to be using are just little bits of card. I've got some sandpaper, an emery board and a teaspoon. And we've also got some paper that's been pre-dampened in a little bag and we're going to use that uh, to print with later. So I've got some plates I've, I've almost finished making here. This is the one out of uh, the juice carton, the milk bottle and the disc, which I've cut in half really for the purposes of uh, today's demonstration to keep things small. And... We're just going to draw into the, the plate. This is the, the CD. I'm just going to finish doing some detail on here. And when you're drawing with this, if you if you feel rub it with your finger, you should feel a slight burr, and that means it's going to hold the ink. The same process with the cardboard. And these little areas here I've actually scored like this. And then I'm going to lift them out because they're going to give a little bit of tone to the piece. I've chosen lips because I'm working with lipstick and I thought that would just give it a little bit of fun. This is the milk bottle, which you can see again I've drawn into already. But I'm also going to add some texture just by prodding it and pricking it with the sharp tool. And again that will add some tone and texture to this. But again, this is, these are different techniques that you can play about with. And to add a bit of tone, you can also use a piece of emery board or a piece of sandpaper and just gently rub the plate. You can hear that scratching nicely and then just rub, rub the excess off 
and again that will give us some nice tones as well as the linear work and you can use an emery board or something like that if you have as well. So now we're going to ink up using the lipsticks. So I'm going to use, I've got three slightly different colours. I'm just going to push some of the, the sort of brownie lipstick into this one so we can care, compare and contrast. And please remember, ask the uh, normal wearer of the lipstick if it's okay to do this with. These are lipsticks that um, I've had around for a long time and I, I don't wear them actually very often. And so we're going to use a different one on each uh, plate. Just rub a bit over each one like this. And then I'm going to take these small bits of card and this is just to make sure that the lipstick goes into all the grooves like that. Okay, that one making a nice noise. So we want to push all of the ink, well the lipstick actually, into the, the grooves like so. I'm just turning the card over each time so that I'm getting a clean edge. And then once we've done that, we're ready for the next part of the process. So now we need to clean the excess lipstick off the plate. And I've just got some little bits of scrap fabric um, made into a little wad and just some gentle circular movement so that it's cleaned off the surface of the plate, your printing plate, but without removing it from the lines. And just turn it over each time so we get a nice clean surface without contaminating, contaminating it with the lipstick from the previous plate. Like this. And with this one I'm just going to use my fingertip because I want to clean as much of the lipstick off the teeth so that they're, they're a bit distinct from the lips and then round the edges there. If you want, after you've, you've done this, but you can always clean it off with just a piece of a uh, newspaper or something like that, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that at the moment. So now we're getting ready for printing. I've got some pre-dampened bits of paper, thick cartridge paper or some printing paper if you've got it, something out of a sketchbook. So these have just been dampened down with a sponge, layered together and stuck inside a plastic bag. And they're just about ready for printing now because they've been left for about 15 minutes. I'm going to put the damp paper on top of our CD. I've got it inside a soft cloth so it can protect the paper because we're going to be applying a lot of pressure with the back of a, a teaspoon or a dessert spoon, soup spoon, whatever your uh, preference might be. And we're just going to rub really hard continuously till we think our print is ready. And you can take a little sneak peek at some point um, to see what's going on, like so. And then keep rub rubbing if it's not ready. So the process for printing as of the CD is the same for the little cardboard piece and the piece out of the milk bottle uh, carton. And these are the, the three prints here. They're small just for the purposes of demonstrating and the, the scale of the studio that I'm working in, which is quite makeshift. And hopefully we'll, you'll be able to show us some of the work that you're making. You may have more exciting colours of lipstick than I've got or some nice creamy based eyeshadows, which I don't possess at all. And we look forward to seeing some of the work that you've made. And again, there'll be information at the end of the little film um, how you can share that with us. Thank you very much and look forward to presenting another one as part of this series. Thank you.